people, it is officially springtime. It's not, but I live in Florida. It's basically spring all winter long. Anyway, I'm at Home Goods right now, okay? That's what you really wanna know. I plan on going to TJ Maxx also because I'm pretty sure they have spring and Easter stuff out already. So, are you ready to go exploring? Fingers crossed we don't blow our whole paycheck inside. Okay, treasure hunters, you know, this is my first stop. I am obsessed with these stinking gnomes. I spy one that I am definitely going to take home. Can you tell which one? She's a beauty too. This one's really cute. The flowers on her hat and she's holding an egg. Oh my word, look at this bunny with the crochet sweater. She's $13, but this one is the one for me. It's the bunny ears, it's the Easter egg, it's the beard. Oh my gosh, and look at her dress, so cute. They have a lot of florals and garden gnomes out on their end caps. I love this succulent shelf. I don't know what it's called. Oh my gosh, I passed right by this little duck. Here's some words to live by. Never be too hip to hop. What is happening with those bunnies? Even more bunnies over here. You guys, hold on. So many we need to talk about. Why are they on Vespas? delivering all their eggs. This is an enormous garden gnome. He's huge. You guys already know, I have my eye set on this. I love the beading on it. It's $15. And here we go, all of the florals right here. Oh, springtime is so welcomed. I know a lot of you have had very long winters. Here are some hedgehogs, garden gnomes, a fish, a fish as a garden gnome? Kind of bizarre. Oh my gosh, I think I have fallen in love with every single item on this end cap from the eggs, the happy spring. Look at these happy bunnies. Oh, I wish my kids were that happy. Reading a book to each other. I love that spring sign. And then all of that garland. I'll give you a nice view of the garland. Different sizes too. Some of them are short, well, shorter, and then some of them are really long. I know last year these eggs were wildly popular and the Dollar Tree had kind of a knockoff of them, but these are gorgeous. How much? Eight bucks, just to give you reference. Oh, and these are seven. Comes with a carton. Hashtag worth it. What are they reading? Once upon an Easter tale. They're so well read. I always love all of the pots that Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx have. They're pretty reasonably priced. These are really pretty. 17 bucks. I'm not kidding. Like at Target, this is enormous. That would be $40. I'm not even joking. And this one is 13, gorgeous. Just to give you a little reference there, they have a lot of wreaths out. I don't know if I have an Easter wreath. Do I need one? No, but they're pretty to look at. I really like the tulips. Oh my word, look at this, I peeked on. The sign says Happy Easter and there is a gnome in the middle. It is $20. And then this one says Easter. Trucks that say Happy Easter filled with eggs. I like this little holographic egg, that's pretty cool. My kids would definitely break this, 15 bucks. This is a really pretty preef. Pretty preef? Wait, did I say that right? Really pretty preef. No, no, wreath. <laughs> It's not very large, it's $15. So I thought I would just compare. The large one is $30, but I have seen something similar at the Target dollar spot. Obviously it wouldn't be this quality, but just to give you an option. There's so much here that I see that I really like. I'll highlight a couple things. So this bunny, she has like a grandma sweater on. I am falling in love with her, $10. And then this really pretty happy Easter sign. The elegant bunnies in the back, look at her. Man, her chin is so high. I also didn't know this was a thing, an Easter gingerbread house, is that what that is? And then hip hop radio. I almost skipped over these. Oh, look at this, that's pretty cool. How much is that? Guess that, it's $10. They have the happy Easter sign over here, a couple bunnies, some Easter buckets, and those galvanized tins. Oh, this bunny. So this is pretty popular, I think, like the grass looking bunny, that one's $13. And then the gnomes, always cute. It's always an awesome place to get greenery as well. I see a couple of topiaries. Stop it, what are these? These are the cutest thing I've seen in the store so far. So $40 for this one. Why do I love this so much? This lantern is 13. I think it's a lantern. I actually have no idea. Yoo-hoo, they're busy at work. Another thing that Home Goods does pretty well are plant stands. So this one's 80, which seems like a lot. It is a lot. But on Amazon, I swear it would be like 180. That is an enormous artificial plant. A couple more wire plant stands there. I really like this plant stand. I don't know how much it is. It doesn't have a price, but it is on wheels. And that one is larger. Maybe they're a set. I don't know, that bunny's just hanging out right on top of them. And even more plant stands. I peeked on this one, it's 13. 
Uh, let me see if I can see any other prices. 30 for this one, 40 for this one. Oh my word, I love artificial flowers. They never die, so I love them so much. And I really like some of the containers that these are in as well. Look how pretty those are, just simple, you know? I really like this not yet blossomed tulip look. So I was like, oh yeah, maybe I'll buy it. Uh, maybe I won't. This one's also cute. It comes in a unique little holder. What is it, a pot? It's not a pot, it's like an olive garden. Olive garden. <laughs> like an olive oil pour. Words, 10 bucks. My word, I am kind of in love with these two statues. Oh my gosh, literally crying over this one. So many good ones. And then you have frogs and angels and elephants and cool stuff. Wait, he's holding a baby. Why is he only $10? Starting at $3.99. I love how they do that. There's like one item probably that's not even on this shelf. I, maybe this glass. Oh, $2.99. Nice. Anyway, a couple bowl sets and stuff. And then these taco platters. I thought these were pretty funny. I had to share. I like this bowl set. It's only $8. I think all the time. Oh, I should get new bowls and new plates and stuff. I don't know why I always think they're crazy expensive. But will I get more? Absolutely not. I'm not sure if this is leftover Valentine's Day wreaths or what. And then, oh wait, what are these? Oh, look at those kids. They're having the time of their lives. All right, more garden gnomes up here. Oh, I like that little girl sitting on the bench. She is darling. <laughs> I kind of like this guy too. He's cool. Guess that price. $20 uh, and he's pretty lightweight. He's definitely gonna fall over in a rainstorm. I thought these wind chimes were pretty cute. Aren't these cute? A little dragonfly right there and a camper. This is how we roll. Oh, I love it. And then there's, oh my gosh, what are all these? We love camping. <gasps> I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Wait, is camping the same as having it on RV? Probably not. There's a bicycle on the end that I'm really into. Oh, praying mantis. You know how we do in Florida. Flamingos for every season. <laughs> and then this pelican up here, he's pretty cute too. I always love all the outdoor dining stuff that they put out and these are fantastic. Look, down by the bay. Oh, I thought it said bay. Where the watermelons go. It's actually by the sea, so don't listen to me. I also rolled over this really cute cooler. You guys know my love for coolers. Is this a sign I'm supposed to get it? It's on sale for 15 bucks. I don't need it. <gasps> Is this a towel? A round towel? I've wanted these for years. Ooh, $30. And I am reminded why I never buy one. This little end cap of Easter treats. Happy Easter with Kelly, Kelly's. <laughs> Carrot jellies. We can call them Kelly's. <gasps> Look at these. Bitty Bunny Blend. Oh, those are so sick of cute. The last thing I need right now are sprinkles, but for some reason, why do I, why am I drawn to sprinkles? I don't even like sprinkles on anything. Uh, okay, moving down, no one cares. Uh, more chocolate and treats. More Easter candy over here. They have these poppers for $7. I don't know what's inside. It's never really worth it for the prize inside. Oh, hard sour ball candy. Yeah, definitely not. But it's the fun of just opening a cracker. The excitement, I don't know what's in this guy either, but he has legs and I kind of like that. Okay. Oh, it's caramel popcorn. Okay, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. But the outside is cute, right? <gasps> Tell me this is not a thing. Easter candy corn. Oh, can we not? All right, anyway, more treats. Oh, I'm running into stuff behind me. Lots of uh, gardening pots. Did you know this existed? It's like Lucky Charms, the marshmallows in Lucky Charms, but just the marshmallows. Four bucks, what a steal. Oh my my, Sa oh, save on essentials. Yeah, these are definitely essentials. Nothing in home goods is essential. Hot chick, oh my gosh, classic movie, love that mug. Bunny kisses, I'll take five. Ooh, bunny treats. Oh my gosh, you guys, you see this? 18 carats. Oh man, Ray Dunn's getting funny. All right, so all that cool bunny stuff. Oh, a little honey bunny. And then these bowls. Oh my gosh, these are sweet. $4 for a bowl. Oh, I feel like these are adorable. And then this one is slightly larger for $6. If you're into sprinkles, they have some more options for you. Oh wait, what's back here? <gasps> the sprinkles are just so pretty to look at. They also have a lot of honey coconut flakes and all that kind of stuff. That's a lot of honey, woohoo. Uh, but then over here, I was looking at these jellies and jams. It's very enticing. If you have a bar or like wine or whatever, uncork and unwind, 
I found this and I thought it was hilarious. You had me at Merlot. <laughs> and this one, live, love, wine. So a lot of wine stuff over here. Seems like Ray Dawn is obsessed with honeybees right now. Do you see that kettle up there, the queen bee? And then the honey pot, busy bee, honey bee. They do have a lot of zodiac signs that I'm noticing. And then also the mugs of the queen bee with the crown right there. Oh my gosh, so extra honey bee. And then they also have the yellow busy bee and then all of those uh, zodiac signs as well. The dad, the cool dad, mama, papa, busy bee, honey bee again. Ooh, humble. Oh no, bumble bee. <laughs> Arby's humble. Uh, we don't know. Uh, ooh, this one's seasonal, the crack me up. Very cute. Oh, and then this one, hop to it, cuckoo. And then look, it's a squirrel mug. Oh, I love that. There's even a squirrel on the inside. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, I might buy that just for no good reason. Do I need a mug? Absolutely not. And then they have this tower of be mugs, be happy, be you, be loving. Look at this one too, that's funny. I just love fancy dishware sets like this. Is, oh, is that Lennox? I think this that's the set my Oma has. I just think it's adorable. And then they have all these platters and stuff. I have to highlight this set. I've seen it in a few different prints. So it's a nine by 13 dish, I think. I mean, it's a large dish. And then it comes with a set of two, smaller one. It's $13 That's like heavy duty stuff. Oh my goodness. And then down here, the daisy plates. Are those daisies? And then over here, the honeybees. Oh, I'm obsessed. This bowl, $6 for this one. It has like handles on the side. And then this honeybee is $4, screaming deal. And then the third spring set, they have smaller plates back there. Those are pretty too. If you're into Disney stuff, they have a few things. Oh, that hangry sign. Oh my gosh, wait for it. I see that huge hangry sign back there. You see it? Funny. I usually don't really look at the table runners, but they have a lot. This is just half of them. There's more. Ooh, St. Patrick's Day. This is for, wow, do people decorate for St. Patty's Day? Like that extensively? I mean, I don't decorate at all, so there's that. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, and then they have a whole other section over here. Like, look how pretty these table runners are. I'm just not at that level yet. You know what I mean? So cute. Ah, look at this one. I'm trying to convince myself to put this in my cart. I need you to help me talk me out of it. I don't need it. It's beautiful. I don't need it. Oh my gosh, look at the bees. The bee placemats. Definitely need those, 10 bucks. Do you see that teeny tiny little like cupcake stand? All this lemon stuff, the summer, the spring, bring it on, please. Love that. And then they have all of these pastel, table mats over here. I saw one with um, an Easter bunny. Oh, these are so pretty. This is an Easter bunny one. A nice look at it. And then this one as well. So it's not quite Valentine's Day when I'm filming this. And I have been eyeing this bowl. It has hearts on it, but it's pretty neutral. It's $15, but look, it comes with a whisk. Talk me out of this too. Maybe I'll come back and it'll be on clearance. And then that will be my cue to talk me out of it again. I don't know, here's some Valentine's Day stuff. Oh my word, this sign is hilarious. I don't know why, but this wall of kitchen utensils is always so enticing for me. Uh, and it's particularly colorful today. I am very drawn to like the mini things. I don't need any of it. I don't need a cutting board either. Yet, here we are. <laughs> oh, they are fully stocked on these and they are beautiful. Are these making a comeback? These hand sifters? Look at how many there are. These are both $6. I'd pick this one because it comes with a little spatula and a bunny. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so unique looking. It's like a measuring cup and it also holds all your other measuring cups. If you saw my kitchen declutter, you know I definitely do not need any cupcake liners, but these are so adorable. How do I say no? Look what I found hidden back here. You guys, I have found so many Easter things like hidden. Do you think that's on purpose where someone was like, I want this and they're like hiding it for when they come back. So $10 for all of these. Easter like cookie cutouts and a cute little tin. Oh crap, look what I found. An, an end cap full of super cute Easter things. And it's like bakeware. Do you see this turquoise nine by 13 dish? It's $13, are you kidding me? A dollar an inch. And then all of these Easter silicone spatulas. There's more back there. <gasps> Easter kitchen towels. No, they're just blue, springtime. Ooh, look at this basket even. I must be in a shopping mood. Look how sticky I cute this basket is. And these mini pans, $6. We've seen all of this. <gasps> this is cute. 
this is cute. I even buy these mini ramekins. Oh, do I need it? Yes. Okay, I must walk away. Oh, wait, hold on. There's more. Meet me at the carrot patch. I'm at the coolest part of the store. Hold on, what does it say up there? I've never noticed. Thrilling finds. <laughs> at can't believe it prices. Wow. Look at this thrilling find, a black dash. Uh, it's a griddle, so it cooks an egg like so. And then I found this leopard print I've never seen before. Look how stinking cute that is. Guess that price. 10 bucks, that's how much they sell for on Amazon. Very cool. All right, what else was I looking at? I don't remember. Oh, I found this Batman popcorn maker, an air, compact air fryer. Ooh, <gasps> it's by Dash, it's gotta be good. All right, guess that price. It's $30, and I know you keep telling me to get an air fryer, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh my word, I got a phone call, so I almost forgot to show you the spring collection of kitchen towels. So they have uh, bunnies, they have more bunnies. <laughs> uh, you can get a feel for what they have. Really, I mean, it's just bunnies and flowers, bunnies and flowers together. <laughs> so I almost got an apron, a Valentine's Day apron from Hobby Lobby. I shared on my Instagram, I, I went to Hobby Lobby and I just shared it there. It was a quick trip. Anyway, I almost got a Valentine's Day one. It did not look anything like that. And so many of you told me to, <gasps> no. So many of you told me to get it. How much is this? It's $13. How do I get you down? When I tell you it took me 15 minutes to get that down, I wish I was kidding. The bow, oh my gosh, should I get it? I don't need another apron, you guys. It's so cute though. All that time I wasted. This one's cute. Actually, this one's way cuter than that one. I mean, you can tell it's all rolled up, but that's a cute print. Most of the time the aprons are like eight bucks though. Oh, not today. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't seen these before. Look at these cute like silicone oven mitts and they have bunnies on them. That is adorable. I also see this one, probably Valentine's Day style, the love with the bicycle. And then they have hearts. These are $7. Oh, to the moon and back. Oh, hold on, they have a lot of Valentine's Day ones. Oh, look at this one, be kind. And for whatever reason, I really enjoy their soap sets. Uh, the scents of them are just so fantastic. Oh my word, look at this over here. A windmill soap dispenser. Yes, that, ooh, five bucks. Worth it. Walking backwards through this store, you guys. I'm going so slow. Spiral slicer. How much is this? Five dollars. You tell me, is it worth it? Should I get it? So I just spent way too much time going down the basket aisles. So I thought I would give you an overview. Maybe you like to look at baskets too. I don't know. Look at these beautiful laundry baskets right here. Oh wait, didn't we see these at like the container store? And it was like four million dollars. 25 bucks here. Gotta love home goods. Also way more baskets if you're looking to organize. We used to have a wicker chair like this. Wow, oh, the nostalgia. This one's 300. And a cute little teepee for the kiddos. Or the dog. Is that a dog bed? I'd put my kids in there. <laughs> Even more bins and baskets. And then there's shelves down here. These shelves are really cute. And then they have larger baskets down here. I need some for the top of our, ooh, ooh, I almost tipped this one over. This one's $16, that's a nice size. <gasps> Look at that stool. Okay, anyway, I need some baskets for the top of our utility closet. Oh, Lil Laundry. <laughs> that's like Lil Kim. I am now in the office supply section and I don't see anything that's like screaming at me, but maybe you see something you like. Oh my gosh, look at all these laundry baskets behind me. <gasps> Guys, even more baskets. I don't know why I like baskets so much. Oh, I like this basket. <gasps> look how big those baskets are. What could we put inside? Guess that price. It's only 30 bucks. I say that because some baskets are like 80. Ooh, and then look, if you're looking to organize, these, ooh, okay, so at Michael's, that's like a million dollars. At Home Goods, it's only 50. Every day I'm hustling. Wait, I work hard so my dog can have a better life. Wow, that's amazing. All right, I'll give you an overview of this little section here. I mean, it's right next to the spot we were just looking at, but uh, okay, journals and oh my gosh, let's taco about it. Ah. Okay, let me tell you something about Home Goods. Sometimes their music is blaring. Sometimes you can barely hear it. I like it though, I like it. Dream away, my friend. Oh, let's just save time and assume I'm right. I'm kind of loving this guy up here. I don't even know what kind of, what kind of animal is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh look, here's another one. Is that a dog? I'm not 100% sure about that. <gasps> look at that lamp. That is a cool, I bet you that's 
80 bucks easy. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. Oh my, 30. Look how cool that is. I mean, I would never buy it. My kids would totally touch the light bulb, but that is totally cool. I feel like on Amazon, that would be 80 easy. For some reason, lamps are so expensive. This basket's nice too. It's not that nice. Okay, let's move on. Why am I drawn to the soap section? Because this is the thing that we do in our 30s. Honey rose. Ooh, I'm gonna smell that. Gardenia, lemon. Okay, smell review. That smells way more like rose than honey. Though those are okay, I wouldn't buy them. So then I started sniffing some other stuff. I might buy this one, and this one smells like my kindergarten teacher. I'm about to buy it. Delicious. Oh, and that one smells like vanilla. Nice and sweet. Look at these bins to organize. Those are nice. Oh my gosh, look at this computer chair, the leopard one. This is totally something that I had when I was in high school, $70. Yes. Ooh, I like that ottoman. Give you an overview of this little section over here. Cool, cool. Holy crud, they also have a lot of these uh, like wire towers to organize with. $60 for this one. I mean, it's pretty tall. And then this one has drawers, so nice. Ooh, I like the shape of this one. It's different, you know? <gasps> oh my gosh, are these individual drawers? Ah, uh, I would have died like apothecary looking, you know? Oh, that's so pretty, $150 for that. This is really nice too. I feel like I don't look at the furniture here that often, 300. And then that is 400, very pretty. This is pretty cool. It says it's a coffee table, but it kind of looks like an ottoman. It's $150. I spy some Easter pillows and some Easter spring blankets. There's a sloth there too. Oh my goodness, there's even more over here, these blankets. Oh wow, look at this, a bigger pillow. Don't worry, be hoppy. Spring flower market. What? All right, here you go. Here's an overview of the rest of them. Oh wait, what's that one say? Bunny kisses and Easter wishes. So many more over here. He is risen, blessed are those who have faith. <laughs> Take a peek on that coffee table. Isn't that fun? They always shove so many spring items just right up front in a bunch of corners. Carrot patch, 25 cents, he is risen. And then some really cute bunnies. Oh, I like those. I have a heart in that print and it's one of my favorites. Oh, the bumblebee pillows, so sweet. Here's a stack of bunnies. I don't know what they're trying to reach, but here they are. And then there's even more bunnies up here. Oh wait, is that a gnome? What is she holding? <gasps> a springtime gnome with a braid. Oh, I love her. Easter blessings, Easter egg hunt. Look what I found tucked away, dream away. That's so pretty, $6. Some more pillows, hip hop, bunny love, happy Easter. All right, and then some uh, some jive turkey stuff over here. Cool, cool. I love that flower poof pillow. That's amazing. I have a bunch of beachy stuff. I don't know if you're interested in all of this. Oh yeah, all those pelicans. I feel like this is Florida at its finest. Even more over there. Cool, cool. I think we've seen it all. There's some more. Okay, some more spring stuff over here. I like the tulips. And then I like that Easter. <gasps> look at the bunnies in the back though. Oh my gosh, they are so sweet. I love how happy they look. And more down there. Right up front, they always have a nice display of seasonal items. So they have hanging with my peeps. Oh, I love that pillow. Oh, this bunny is so pretty. And then down here, ooh, we spy spy some gnomes, a trio of bunnies. They're stinking cute. Some notepads and stuff down there. That wreath is really pretty too. Ooh, a cage of eggs. I feel like they do this every year. Bunny hop radio. Ooh, I wonder what's playing in the club. Also, these books, they're really trendy. Honey bunny, peeps, bunnies, eggs hunt. I will do the bunnies and the egg hunt, skip the peeps. <gasps> oh, look, oh, they're at a parade. Oh, they're stacked three high, that is so sweet. And then more bunnies up here. <laughs> I like the long ears, they're cute. I think someone's holding this table up here, but look beyond it, that punch buggy, it's full of shelves. Oh wait, Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes books. There's a bunch of succulents over here. And ooh, this is pretty, what is this, potpourri? That just looks really pretty. I like the zebra and stuff, but I definitely like the thumbs up sign. It's really funny. Uh, all right, anything exciting you see? Ooh, hoo, hoo. even more, look at these cuties. Hold on, I need to highlight them, they're so cute. Even more, I think my mom collects these Anna Lee dolls. Oh, a nice little draft blocker down there. Oh, these bunnies are cute. Okay, the ones up front, they were a set of three for $30. $6 for one. 
Yeah, yes. I still don't know if I'm gonna get it. But if I am, here's my chance because the checkout is soon. Oh, I like this one too, the pink bunny up top. So this is the back of the Volkswagen. Isn't that so cool? I mean, I think it's like $200, so it better be cool. Okay, here are some more Easter items. Oh, look at this Easter egg back here. All right, that's pretty fun. Okay, more Easter bunnies, uh, blue polka dots. Oh, look, they love each other. Or they're fighting over something, I don't know. To be determined. <gasps> I like this Easter bunny too. So many options. Oh gosh, this is when I come home with nothing. There's a wall of mugs if you're into it. Chick magnet, hip, ooh, jelly beans. Honey bunny, hop to it, hot chick, chick magnet. Did I already say that one? <laughs> James. <laughs> hey, we saw a lot of awesome stuff there. Man, the car is loud. I also got a lot of awesome stuff. So now let's make our way to the max. TJ, that is, it's almost springtime. I had to get this beautiful tree in my background. I made it to the max. Beautiful trees just make me happy. There's also an ultra right there in a Tuesday morning. I think I'm just, <gasps> ice cream shop is popping full of teenagers. <laughs> oh no, I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna be in and out of this store. I forgot they sold clothes. Oh, I love leggings so much. Oh, any type of workout clothes. They also have, oh, their cosmetic section. Yes, please. <gasps> Fancy, you guys know, that's the scent of my college experience. I still love it. I actually still have some. Okay, I didn't buy soap at Home Goods because I feel like I might find something here. I like the luck of the Irish. I like the grapes. Actually, I don't use bars. Why am I even looking over here? Okay, what's the color of the season? Do we know anything about this? Slash, do we care? This is why some days I feel like I'm going crazy. Is this the same color? I would say yes, except for it's not. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that I see the difference, I think, oh, now I need both of them because they're all, they're so different. This one is more muted, more gray tone. This one is a deeper color. Oh my gosh, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Look, it's the universe speaking to me. Lose your mind, find your soul, amen. Uh, they have all these pajama sets and suddenly I feel like, yep, I need a pajama set. They're so cute. I really like this one. I wish they had it in shorts. Look at this one. So springy. Like it. Oh, here it is again. Oh, they've got a leopard print. I can't really roar. Rawr. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I never, oh, it's so loud. I never venture over here. Hold up, I see a clearance sign. Clearance pajamas? All right, I might be in here way too long. Ooh, I do need some new undies. The Florida boots are still here. Can you guys believe it? There's actually two pair. <laughs> I can't believe those are still here. Maybe that's a sign that I should get them. I'm just gonna make our way to the seasonal section and I'll show you the end caps. <gasps> While we walk, why am I drawn to these? I don't know. I got keep four dollars for all of them. Look at those dogs partying hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then they have some cherries back there, but that's boring. Look at these dogs surfing, watermelon. Oh my God, I can't believe this is four dollars. Well, guess I'm buying it. Some nice springtime blankets here as well. And then we've made it to the final destination. Do you guys ever think about that movie? I think about that movie all the time, like the water bottle falling under my gas pedal. More baskets, I'm totally into it. This one, I like it. Ooh, 20 bucks. I'm gonna buy it, but I like it. You know what? I do need a doormat. I'm not gonna buy that one, but I like it. <laughs> Lots of stuff that I like, but I'm not gonna buy. You know, you can like stuff and not buy it, right? All right, hold on, that was wonky. So let me give you a nice overview here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, some more gnomies. Oh my word, you guys, more gnomies. <gasps> so pretty, but they're all packed in like sardines. I can't see which ones are sweet. Like, look at this guy, he's hidden. He's pretty, wait, what's a minion doing here? Get out of here. Oh, he's got bunny ears, I guess he can stay. She doesn't even go here. All right, pretty cute, pretty cute. Oh, and then the sign in the back. Carrot patch, 25 cents. I'm looking for a vertical sign. Oh my gosh, there's even gnomes behind. Oh gosh, what's gonna fall? There's even gnomes behind there. He is a cutie. Okay, what do we think? How can we compare home goods to TJ Maxx? By the way, I don't know if you can hear the song in the background, but goodness gracious, I'm glad it's over. I'll tell you that much. Look, it's like a mini egg from what we saw. The other one was $10. Ooh, nice. This one's five. 
Okay, I like the pink bedazzle on the side of these. And then they had one of these at Home Goods, just one size. I think it was the larger size, but now they have three here. $10, eight, and five. Ooh, so fancy. So a lot of wooden bunnies, smaller wooden bunnies. Oh, and then carrots. Wait, this was a thing. This has been a thing for a few years, right? Yeah, I don't think I have any of these slash I don't want any of those. It's cute though. I like the green. Ooh, it's $8. That's cute. Okay, some pillows, more pillows. I don't, pillows to me, you guys, it's like $30 for one pillow. I'm gonna have to pass on that dog. And then all, ooh, even more bunnies. I like the pink like velvet bunnies. Those are sweet. Oh, this bunny, look at him. $17, could this work? I think so. I'm kind of digging the black bunnies as well. I like the matte black color. It's not like those typical springtime colors, but I'm really digging it. Look at this one too, so pretty. I like that, oh my gosh, I like all of it. I don't even know what to say anymore. I just like them all. Okay, more down here. Oh, and then we have the grandma floral print. Oh my goodness, there's a mug that comes with a spoon. I've never seen that before. What do you put in here? With a spoon. <gasps> Look at these bowls. Those are darling. Like none of this stuff was at Home Goods. I mean, those were, but I mean, it's okay. Some of it was. All right, what's over here? Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Okay, these moss bunnies. I think these are trendy this year. I feel like we saw one at Home Goods. Oh, the little chicks just hatched oh that's sweet okay what else oh oh i feel like they missed an opportunity to write something on their feet here I don't know. oh the gnome with the umbrella my word we mustn't forget about saint patrick's day they have a nice little spot dedicated to it over here some ray dunn signs lucky luck of the irish eat drink and be irish you know what i went to ireland one time more specifically where did we go we went oh that's pretty we went to oh my gosh should i get this little gnomey with the wobbly legs dublin is where we went oh my gosh you guys i had to google it <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long and I have to tell you there was like a bar every step we took and we do not drink so I mean it was still a good time here is their Ray Dunn section over here most of them are just hiding hold on what have we got here I feel like we have seen most of them oh my gosh the first time I've seen this one distance learning specialist <laughs> oh, okay that was worth it oh that's all yolks that's funny 100% 100% what I'm 100% hungry all right, here's some more utensils, egg hunt. Ooh, a funny bunny. I don't think we saw that one. Some office supplies. Ooh, what is this? Irish beads? A bead kit. Well, that's fun. A rom-com quiz? All right, let's see. Let's test our knowledge here. Which comedy movie had the tagline, love is here to stay, so is her family? Big Fat Greek Wedding. Name Hugh Grant's character in Bridget Jones's Diary. Daniel, boom. Did you guys do these when you were younger? Those are so pretty. I don't think I ever finished one, but I started a lot of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, a pen set. Well, that's fun. They're like silicone four leaf clovers. So pretty, $3 for that. Oh my gosh, should I buy some? We don't have any. We're out. That's a good excuse, right? I'm doing it. I always enjoy browsing the picture frame section. I'm just trying to find, ooh, unique picture frames. Okay, I've left my cart. I love the be kind. How can I not buy that? You are kind and beautiful. Queen bee. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love all the bee stuff. Grow through what you go through. Words to live by. Oh, also that is really pretty and delicate. Okay, I'll just kind of browse through the rest of them. I'll point out if I see anything amazing and you do the same if I miss it. Yes to this, this is 100%. That's what that mug was talking about. Beautiful things are never perfect perfection does not exist my friend well i found the bee mecca are you guys into this trend sugar cream and then the bee kind with the honeycomb back there <gasps> hello honey queen bee oh loving that okay hold on i saw something else too here it is be the change even more this little canister but also i saw that one i thought that was really cute and then happiness is when our kitchen is full of family and friends. I saw this Zodiac one that caught my eye. Oh my gosh, family recipe. Ooh, for what? Sugar cookies? Let's see. Or joy. Oh, okay. Two cups of love, that's it. A pinch of faith. I think you need more than a pinch. A heaping scoop of kindness. A 
a dash of hope, a generous cup of patience. Yeah, I'm gonna need like a gallon of patience with my kids. Sprinkle with joyous laughter and serve every day. Well, I like that. They have this end cap full of wooden things. Makes me happy, so I thought I'd make you happy. Look at that clock. <gasps> Look how pretty these are. Okay, these are prettier than the ones at Home Goods, but they're not as fluffy. These are like purely decorative. Sprinkling outside. Oh my gosh, I love this. Seven dollars for two of them. What does that one say? Nothing. Oh, well, I guess that's funny enough for the both of them. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> even more oh gosh she's so loud cashiers go up front all right okay here's some more springtime stuff cute 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 what did i see oh this is what i saw that i said oh my gosh the bees the bees knees so pretty right all right do you see anything else uh okay mittens and stuff oven mittens whatever they're called Ooh, food chickpea butter that's gotta be a no for me dog I will bet you $50 that's on clearance next time I come. <laughs> Their cleaning products here at TJ Maxx are usually pretty nice too. Those gloves, these reusable ones, are just $3 and they're nice quality. <laughs> that made me laugh. I don't think I've seen this many white candles ever. Is this a new trend? Oh my gosh, wait, what? Be healthy. Is this a candle? <gasps> it's just a cute little container. Oh my gosh, what can I put in this? Seven dollars. What do I have that's more than seven dollars that needs to be contained? <laughs> oh my word. This one, cotton flower, smells delicious. And I have to tell you, I still have candles from fall, but have you seen that meme that's like, well, I'll show you this side while I talk. The meme goes, I don't know if my wife is still burning fall candles or is already burning fall candles. <laughs> that just resonated with me. I still have fall candles that I have not burned yet, mostly because I um, I didn't really love them. You know, as soon as you start burning a candle, you're like, oh, this smells different, and then you don't like it, you know? Anyway, these are my top picks. Are you surprised? Like, why are they all yellow? I don't know. This one is divine, except for vanilla cupcake bag. Oh, that's disgusting. No, thank you. Are you someone who likes sweet smelling candles? Because I am totally not, but these are right up my alley wild honey and clementine you guys know i love wild honey and neroli the crisp pear mint leaf the lemon by dw oh are these all dw oh they do candles right can i just say that but here's my favorite honey N neroli i've been smelling so many i can't even really smell anymore so is that what a clean kitchen smells like i had no idea it's a nice little end cap with a bunch of random stuff i don't know what do i see a black bird Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Okay, <laughs> embarrassing. There's people all over. Uh, it's just a face. Really, I feel like my daughter will really like that. Ooh, welcome the Wi-Fi password. We have something like this, but I like this a little better. Six dollars. Oh wow, I like this. I'm not arguing. I'm explaining why I'm right. Yes. Thank you. Look at this flamingo garden steak. I feel like I need that in my life. It's twenty dollars. It's probably precisely why I'm not going to buy it but they have all of these. Oh, look at that bicycle stand. It's $13 to hold your flower. That's so cute. And then they have so many more artificial plants, the fake ones that you cannot kill. So that's what I like about them. This store is filled with gems. Look at this night light. <laughs> they have all these mirrors. I really like that one. It's an oblong shape, very pretty. And then some artwork up here. Are they lying to me when they tell me that this wind chime is seven dollars? It's incredible. And then they have some wreaths up here. How in the world did I pass this? A sunflower spinner? I need it. They have some more wreaths right here. Pretty. Ooh, look at that pot over there. They have some really cozy looking blankets. Uh, I use a blanket every night, so I'm thinking maybe I'll buy one of these. I don't know why. I was literally walking like a zombie just this. <laughs> I'm so embarrassing. $25, $25 for a blanket? Never mind. I'm just going to keep the one that I have. I saw this hedgehog over here. Alex called me, so I was looking around a little bit. Here's an avocado one. Hedgehog. Here's some flowers. Some dogs. Snoopy. And you guessed it. Queen Bee. Oh, that one's cute. Speaking of cute, that pillow is cute. So I'm on my way out of this section and I see these sunflower pillows. I haven't seen a lot of sunflowers. Isn't that like the tall tale sign of spring? So here's like their uh, furniture section. I like this for like the foot of the bed. 
<gasps> Look at me decorating. Ooh, $130. I don't know how much they go for. I feel like I can make that for $100. Well, not if the blanket is $25. The legs are probably eight a piece. <laughs> Just kidding. I will never make this. Ooh, this is really pretty too. Oh man, I could definitely make that. Definitely. Did I ever tell you I bought an ottoman one time? Or I should rephrase. I bought all of the pieces to make an ottoman. <laughs> Uh, guess who doesn't have an ottoman? This girl. Yeah, I never made it. <laughs> Here's their baby section, and to be honest, most of the time it just overwhelms me, so I kind of stay out of it. Oh, it looks like they kind of reconfigured some things. It's usually just like a bunch of stuff stacked on top of each other. This is looking good. Ooh, new management maybe? Oh my gosh, the bees. They're everywhere, you guys. So pretty though. Oh my god, I am so impressed right now. I am so impressed. Well, let's keep walking then. I have abandoned my cart, but worth yeah. it. Ooh, someone's playing. <gasps> Baby shark. Oh yeah, totally worth it. Baby shark is a jam. They also have rugs. Ooh, so nice. I need so many rugs. It's overwhelming how many rugs I need. I'm just waiting till we move. You know what I mean? It could be a year from now, but that's okay. Look at those washcloths too. Why do I like washcloths? Ooh, and then all of those dog toys or pet toys. It's pretty fun. For now, I think I'm gonna stroll through the clothing section. That was cute, wasn't it? I'll never wear it. I just did a closet declutter. Okay, so. Uh, oh my gosh, I love the little baby clothes. Oh, see that little sundress right there? So adorable. I feel like my camera is really zoomed out. I must have pressed something. I have no idea. I'm like right up against these clothes, you guys. Well, do you guys want to see the new prints that they have? I'm drawn to the pink for whatever reason. Ooh, snake skin. Are you here for that? I'm not, I'm ne I've never been a fan of snake skin. I do like these shorts though, although they would make me look bulkier you know, with the tie. I feel like I just bought a shirt that looks like this, but I like the color. Mm. How do they already have this on the shelf? The Super Bowl was like two days ago. That is incredible. Wow. That is really pretty. I love the layered skirt. What do we think of this one? It's on sale, <laughs> but I really do love the print. I just don't know if I would ever wear it. It's so cute. This is so pretty. They have it in a couple of different colors. It is kind of see-through just right at the top right there. But they also have it in this blue color. And then this shirt is gorgeous as well. They always shove stuff right up here at the register. Wait, what is this? 12 treat boxes. Oh, for Valentine's Day? Okay, down here. Oh, look at those mini puzzles. I bet those are for Valentine's Day too, but they are so cute. I mean, hey, clearance Valentine's Day stuff can make awesome Easter basket stuffers. I'm just saying. Oh my word, look at these spatulas as well. <gasps> Ooh, sunflower. Am I just seeing and noticing the sunflower because I said something about the pillow earlier? Ooh, lemoncello. Oh, it smells divine. Oh, cute little bunny. I feel like someone changed their mind on that. Okay, even more Easter kitchen towels. I've been hoping to find one that like hangs off, you know? I've been reading this trying to understand. I'll always macaroon in my heart for you. What, what is it trying to say? Oh, 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 make room. Yeah, okay, okay, that's a stretch. All right, we are at Marshall's now, and I don't see <laughs> Eleanor and Avelina are with us. They have their school shirts on, so just see their face. Anyway, I only see a few spring things. Eww, oh, she's holding these eggies, and she's so cute, $10. Okay, <gasps> What's this rainbow? Oh, it's a cookie, gross. In my experience, those cookies never really taste good. They look good. Look at that bunny. Oh my gosh, she is darling. $8 for her. Another set of spatulas. Those are beautiful. The pillows are really pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I like this like cracked egg with the tulip. Ooh, and then this long ears bunny back here. There are more kitchen towels back here. I still don't see the kind that I like that like hangs, you know? I feel like I've only seen one of those my entire existence of living. And then they have a lot of St. Patty stuff behind me. Oh my gosh, that gnome right there in the middle. A ton of candles. Oh, eggs, I did. I feel like they just shoved everything green on this table over here. Oh, look at that mug. That is cute. Oh, and these dogs. <gasps> Lucky to be your gnomey. Okay, but we have to highlight, what is this even? Oh my gosh, it's a platter. 
Oh, if it didn't have the four leaf clovers, I would totally buy it. More springtime stuff right here. Oh, I love that. Good egg, bad egg. Giving me totally Charlie and the Chocolate Factory vibes. Or wait, what was the original called? Willy Wonka. That's the one I like. I don't know about you. All right, I found this end cap. It looks so nice. I don't know if I see anything that we haven't seen before. Uh, a lot of candles, those carrots. Ooh, that ribbon. Everyone likes a good ribbon. Oh, those bunnies. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> Wait, all the falling bunnies. Oh my gosh, hold on. It's a whole row of falling bunnies. That's so funny. All right, where's the gnome with the braid? I feel like I did not buy her and I regret it, but these, these guys are pretty cute, I guess. Look what just happened. You got Avelina's tooth just mm. fell out of her dang mouth. Not all my teeth look like that yellow. <laughs> Ooh, if you can believe it, another end cap of spring stuff. Do we see anything new on here? Everything looks exciting. I do like the pillows in these guys, like sweeties. Oh, the Easter with the mint color. Like it. <gasps> Wild honey and clementine. Oh my gosh, how did I pass her up? Oh, she's $20. Is she worth it? Look how stinking adorable she is. You guys, look what I just found. What? A diamond in the rough. But Avelina just pointed out, it's too good to be true. Look at that. Oh no. What a shame. I thought I hit the jackpot. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out and shopping with me. If you can peek on my couch over there, you can see I did some damage at the stores. I did not buy anything from Marshalls, but I did pick up quite a few items from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So I will share a haul with you in a separate video because I feel like this one is reached its max. But thank you so much again for hanging out and watching. I hope you had a good time virtually shopping with me. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.